Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to work with AWS transfer family. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is AWS transfer family and its use cases. As you can see in my screen, this is the official document page of AWS. AWS transfer family is fully managed AWS service that you use to transfer file into our and out of Amazon S3 storage or Amazon EFI, EFS file system over the following protocols like SFTP, FTPS or FTP. If we talk about the benefits of AWS transfer families, the transfer family is often used because of its scalability and it's be able to support thousands of users at the same time. Also from the security perspective, it can meet user requirement for encryption to networking to regularity compliance and AWS transfer family is additionally beneficial because it is uh, you, easy to use and workflows can be managed or even automated. Overall, AWS transfer family is well reserved by user because it is an AWS native service that removes the tra tra traditions associated with the large file transfer and instead of offer a unified place for clean workflow to be contacted. So uh, here is the uh, complete documentation. You can read it from here to get the more information why the transfer family is required for the cloud admin. Uh, let's begin the lab session and we'll see how the transfer family is useful for the cloud admin. Okay, so you can see currently I'm in my Mumbai region. This is my AWS console, and uh, uh, what I'm going to demonstrate here, I'm going to demonstrate how we, how we can use AWS transfer family with Windows host machine to get and put the data which is present in Amazon S3 bucket through the secure channel. Right. So this is the uh, this is the reason Mumbai reason where I am. And first step is we need to create a one publicly accessible S3 bucket with some data file. So let it be create. So what I'm going to do, I'll create a first S3 bucket and make a folder and upload one file uh, for the demonstration purpose and make it publicly readable also. Okay. So just go on the S3 from here on the search bar, open the new tab, and just create a simple S3 bucket. So, okay, let it be create the bucket first. So click on the create bucket, give the bucket name, say Linux, Google, one, two, three, four. Name should be unique. Scroll down and enable the ACL permissions. Scroll down, enable the block, allow for publicly accessible. Scroll down and rest of the settings I'll go with the default one. Just simply create a simple bucket. So now this is how I create a simple bucket. I can go under the view details from here and here let me create a folder first. So I'll go to create a folder named demo and simply create a folder. Here I am under the demo folder currently I don't have any file. So let me create one uh, file here on my desktop. So I make a file here demo. Hi this is demo file save it and let it be uploaded first so upload and go to the add file go to the desktop and here's the demo file select that one and under the permission we can scroll down from here make it publicly readable accessible and i understand the regs upload yep so now close that one and uh, after that because this file is already uploaded so i can remove from my text or it's not a big deal. So you can see I have successfully created one S3 bucket named Linux Google 1234 and under that bucket I create one folder which is name is demo and upload one demo.txt file uh, from my desktop and also assign the publicly read accessible permission so that anyone can read it publicly right. Now move to the next step which is make create one IEM rule with S3 full access permission right. So for IEM rule search IEM from here IEM go to the right click open new tab here's the IEM search bar and this is IEM dashboard let it be load first yep now go to the roles and create one role so create role give the role name uh, identity type is AWS services and under the use case now this time I'll go for the search for transfer because I'm going for transfer so select the transfer use case right that's important for us so use case would be transfer, allow AWS transfer to call AWS services on your behalf, right? Scroll down, next, give the S3 full access, so I search S3 full access, 
sorry there is no space s3 full access here is amazon s3 full access select that one next give the name say demo role or could be anything scroll down create role right so now uh, you can see that I have successfully created one role, IEM role, which is demo role with S3 full access permission for transfer case, right? So now you can create a view role and here you say you can see that the permissions and the trust relationship, right? Now move to the next step, which is create transfer family. So again, go back here, search transfer family. So search it AWS transfer family, fully managed supported for SFTP, FTPS and FTP. So this is AWS transfer family created there is no server so just create a server first you can go with any protocol so I go with the SFTP which is the default one so you can go as per your need say next identity type I'll go with the service manage create and manage user within the services I'll go with this one otherwise if you have a domain environment you can go with this environment also I'll go with the next Endpoint should be publicly or if you have a custom VPC, you can go with the custom VPC, but I have the publicly I want to enable from the publicly. So I go with the publicly accessible. Now say next domain uh, go with the either EFS or Amazon S3. So currently I have created one S3 bucket for this demonstration. So I'll go with the Amazon S3 next. Now uh, they are asking for the CloudWatch uh, log. So I'm not going with any CloudWatch log. I didn't create that one. It will automatically create it. So scroll down and server host key required for the multiple private key which is required for the uh, existing one so i'm not doing have any existing one so rest of the things are okay for me banner yeah i can assign the banner welcome welcome to my custom server okay could be anything and scroll down Yep, that's sufficient for me. Rest of the things are optional, so I can ignore it. Next, and here's the short summary of each and everything, whatever we have done. So now, create the server. So now the server is successfully created. It will take a couple of minutes. So, yep, successfully created a server. Now, you can see, uh, currently there is no user is associated with this server. Look at that, no user is associated. So click on the add user, right? So add user give the username it's very important for us how to uh, how we can secure communicate without having the user so assign the username so i'll give the username uh, could be anything in my case i'm going to create demo one role whatever role you have created so i have created a demo role now you have to select that role the demo role scroll down home directory tell about the s3 location so i have one two three four s3 bucket so one two three four and uh, home directory location so assign the same name this is the demo folder here so I'll say go with the demo not demo one and click on the restricted that is very very important so what is the meaning of restricted so once you click on the restricted the user will get kind of jail environment when a home directory is set to the restricted user will not be able to access anything outside of that folder so nor will nor will they will be able to see the s3 bucket or folder name so I'll select that one. This is important for us for the security point of view. Now the important part is SSH public keys. Okay, so in the next part, we need to get the SSH keys for secure transfer file access. So for that one, we will generate the SSH key pair using putty key gen or and generate the public and private key pair. Once the key pair will be generated, we will copy the public key here because it required SSH public key and we'll save the private key some certain location from where we want to access the, the server for the the server for the transfer the files and folder right so let's move to the putty key gen i have already installed this software if you don't have you can install it from the google search bar or it's freely available uh, so click on putty key gen here uh, here it is a putty key gen now click on the generate move the mouse for the better entropy so it will take some time and it will generate the key yeah, here it is my public key, you can see that, right? So let it be copy the entire public key from here. So this is the complete public key, let it be copy completely. Okay, let it be copy from here, paste it here, and finally say add and done. So successfully created user demo one. And I'll go back here, go to the server, 
under the server it's going to be started okay it will take some time and do not forget to save that private key also so click on the save private key are you sure to save yes give the nice name uh, this is the demo desktop location where I save my put t file save it and close now let's refresh it's online available yep so now I open my server ID and here is the custom host name or URL endpoint URL which I required right so now uh, move to the final step which is how to get and put the files uh, and directory using this server so uh, let me make one file for uh, on the desktop for the uploading purpose right so I'll make one more file here say this one file one hi this this is file one okay save it now I will use a uh, win SAP tool for data transfer I have already downloaded uh, this tool if you don't have it you can also download it from Google search bar it's also free or at the end of the demonstration I will share the both putty gen and win SAP download link in my description you can grab it from here right so uh, let me search win SCP here yeah here it is a win SCP so now we need to give the host name so for the host name go to the transfer family and copy that endpoint so right click copy the endpoint host name paste it here username is whatever the user I have created demo one and you talk about the password so if you go with that password I will go with my private key file right so go with the authentication under the authentication go with the private key I give the RAM key this one okay okay so login if everything is fine say yes and now so look at that here's the welcome message welcome to my custom server continue authentication authenticated and done yep boom now you can see that on the left hand side this is the uh, Windows desktop environment see user admin desktop and the right hand side this is the s3 bucket environment right so you can see under the my s3 bucket currently I have one file demo.txt which is currently shown here demo.txt and these are my desktop file which is my under uh, my Windows environment so if you want to download or upload you want to transfer some file which is very easy what we need to do right click or we can uh, drag and drop from here right to left or we can select search at uh, all of them or you can go with the upload or delete or rename whatever you want so let me go with the upload the file click on the upload say okay now uh, upload of file was successful but error occurred we can ignore it no issue skip it all see file is successfully done so if I go over there and refresh look at that here is one more file file1.txt right so here's the new file and if I go back on the uh, one more time with that cp and I want to download that file which is the uh, demo.txt currently I don't have any demo.txt if I refresh on my desktop there is no demo.txt file so if I want to download it right click and download that one so this is this very simple just click ok and it will download it successfully under your desktop folder uh, or your desktop environment right so look at that here's the demo file so guys this is how it's very easy you can uh, transfer the file using AWS transfer family and you can use this one it is it's very easy and it's very secure and uh, it's very useful for day-to-day -day cases for the cloud admin so guys this is how uh, the and uh, this is how you can understand how we can use this transfer family services to get and upload the file and folder in a secure manner from AWS platform finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon I will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye